With Kirk Cousins set to miss the rest of the regular season or the rest of the season in general, the big question lies, will Kirk Cousins return to the Minnesota Vikings next season? If you don't know, Kirk Cousins becomes a free agent at the end of this season and has the opportunity to seek his own home, I believe for the first time in his career. I don't think we plucked him away from free agency. I think we got him from Washington via a trade and stuff like that. But he's going to be able to test free agency. But Kevin O'Connell wants Kirk Cousins back with the Minnesota Vikings next season. And this article that I'm about to, uh, I'm about to read basically lays it out and shows you exactly why uh, Kevin O'Connell wants Kirk Cousins back with the Minnesota Vikings in 2024. And it starts by saying, like I said, Minnesota Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell wants quarterback Kirk Cousins back for the 2024 season after the signal caller tore his Achilles tendon in week eight. This is what Kevin O'Connell said. Yeah, you guys know how I feel about Kirk. Kirk knows how I feel about Kirk. Now the pair had good internal talks on a variety of subjects, including the direction the team will go at the position moving forward. Kirk Cousins is going to be healthy again. I know he's going to be a free agent after the season, but Kirk knows how I feel about him and that will be something that hopefully works itself out. That is what Kevin O'Connell added to his statement, basically saying, look, we've talked, we've discussed multiple times about the situation and I would really love to have him back in this offense, which to be completely honest, if we go to the playoffs again with Joshua Dobbs as our quarterback, I'd be okay with bringing Kirk Cousins back. We just have to figure out that Justin Jefferson contract. Uh, we have to figure that out first, right? Now it continues by saying, you know, okay, Cousins suffered the injury in the Vikings injury or in the Vikings victory over the Green Bay Packers. He was placed on injury reserve Tuesday, ending his season officially. Now the 35-year-old is scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent following the 2023 campaign. Now, Cousins signed a one-year extension with the team in 2022 after signing a two-year $66 million extension in 2020. Now, Cousins was playing some of his best football of his career before tearing his Achilles tendon. He is currently tied for first in passing touchdowns with 18, second in passing yards with 2,331, and third in pass rating at 103.8. Flat out, Kirk Cousins has been balling this season looking incredible not the Kirk Cousins we are used to seeing this guy was performing at an elite level okay now the veteran passer was a big reason why the team was able to crawl back from an 0-3 start to a 4-4 record through those first eight games right we started the game or started the season off really rocky turning the ball over left and right the offense wasn't clicking and then all of a sudden out of nowhere Kirk Cousins is starting to slice and dice teams up and down the field with a couple turnovers here and there, but it's okay, right? It's going to happen. It's football. Now, here is what uh, I can't remember who said this, but it said, I think he was playing as well as anybody in the National Football League. And one of the hardest parts about coping with this is the fact that he was experiencing his best season in the National Football League and where we could have gone as a team. Now, hopefully, we are still going to get to that place, but I know without Kirk Cousins, and that high-level quarterback play we were getting from him week in and week out, it's going to be a challenge, but one that we've got to accept to try to thrive. That's what O'Connell had to say. Now, the Vikings did acquire quarterback Joshua Dobbs from the Arizona Cardinals before that trade deadline uh, yesterday, I do believe. Now, O'Connell announced on Tuesday that rookie signal caller Jaron Hall will get the start in Week 9 against the Atlanta Falcons, which is something I mentioned. I said, whoever we bring at quarterback, if we don't, it, it doesn't matter. Jaron Hall is most likely going to start against the Atlanta Falcons, and if we do have a quarterback or we bring one in, then he's going to start against the Saints in two weeks. So, Jaron Hall is going to be the signal caller but you guys can let me know what you think about bringing Kirk Cousins back. I'm all for it. I just not, I'm not 100% sure that it's going to happen. For me, it's look, focus on the Justin Jefferson contract, get him locked up. And then let's look at Kirk Cousins because we already know Kirk Cousins has been a businessman his entire career. Fully guaranteed contracts, the last two, maybe three contracts that he signed. I know uh, the last couple contracts he signed with the Minnesota Vikings have been fully guaranteed. So you know he's going to want at least... In my opinion, I think Kirk Cousins, since he's getting older and getting up there in age, he's only going to want one contract, and it's going to be a three-year deal. Not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about the money. Why a part of it could be upwards of 60, 80 million dollars, fully guaranteed. That's just what Kirk is going to want to ride off, uh, ride off into the sunset. And in order to pay that. We have to know where we where, where we stand salary cap wise, which means locking up Justin Jefferson first. That is a priority. Okay, he's an He's a game changer. He's a once in a lifetime receiver. The dude is just absolutely magical on the football field. So you lock up Justin Jefferson 
then you lock up Kirk Cousins if need be. If you don't think we can go get a quarterback this year or, and you, you think our team's heading in the right direction so we can build in other places. But then the, the other question lies, does Jefferson want to even be a Minnesota Viking with the uncertainty of Kirk Cousins not being on the team? It's not 100% set in stone, but I would say Kirk Cousins probably returns to the Minnesota Vikings in 2024. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you want Kirk back next year? And what would you give him as a contract? Also, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your night, folks. And Skull Vikes.